All right, so another example here of simplifying one of our expressions. So here we're going to simplify cotangent of pi over 3 minus x. Again, we can't quite use our co-function identity because, again, we need a pi over 2. Um, what I'm going to simply do, though, is rewrite uh, cotangent. I can write cotangent as 1 over tangent. So we would have tangent of pi over 3 minus x. And again, now we can do the same thing. We can just simply use our identity for tangent. So let's see if we can squeeze it in here. Let's see. So it says, uh, so we're actually going to get another little fraction in the denominator. So it says we would get tangent of pi over 3. Since there's a minus sign in between, we keep the minus sign. So minus tangent of x. And that's all going to be divided by 1. And again, if there's a minus sign in between, it says now we use the plus sign. So we'll get tangent of pi over 3 times tangent of x. OK, so on the right side, um, if you have 1 over a fraction, all that's going to do is flip your fraction. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So we'll get 1 plus tangent of pi over 3 times tangent of x. Uh, in our denominator, we would have tangent of pi over 3 minus tangent of x. OK, well, tangent of pi over 3, to evaluate that again, tangent of pi over 3, that's just going to be sine of pi over 3 over cosine of pi over 3. Well, sine of pi over 3, recall that's the square root of 3 over 2. Cosine of pi over 3 is just going to be 1 half. And if we flip and multiply, this will simply reduce down to the square root of 3. So now I'm just going to plug that in. It says we would get 1 plus square root of 3 times tangent x. And in our denominator, uh, again, tangent of pi over 3 is going to be square root of 3 minus tangent x. And to me, you know, um, of course there's other things you could do to it, but I think I would just leave it there. And now we have uh, just come up with a, a, a new expression for that original expression.